Hello, welcome back to Tarot Time with Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. Hello, hello, welcome back. Today I'm gonna do something different. Get away from the whole grim of the other stuff I've been doing. And we're gonna hit up Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. Another, Johnny is suing for a defamation of character. Because uh, he really, it really cost him dearly uh, with roles and Hollywood made his, it took his good image and really tarnished it. Uh, so let's find out if how he his uh, his end's going to do. How is Johnny going to do in court? How court? How will it work out for him? How will it work out for him? How will it work out? Well, starters we have here the King of Cups upright, and that is someone who is loved. Uh, the King of Hearts is being, you know, very realistic. So he's trying to be realistic. He is considered to be very kind and a friendly person and uh, very loyal, very loyal and and drops his seeds. He's got a lot of, gr you know, good ideas, good projects. He pushes forward. Um, he's trustworthy. He's steady. Uh, he's very pragmatic and uh, a hard worker. So, you know. He's got a good image. He's got a very good image. So and so it's looking good for him in the court. It doesn't look like uh, she's making much progress. Uh, let's get some more on these. Whoop, that wanted out. And we have here release. It's like like self sabotage and release. He did not self sabotage himself, and so he's trying to release this thing on his head, being accused. Uh, so he's hoping that this will release him. And the fact that we got this in release, uh, it's looking really positive for him. I'm taking this because it's sticking out. But, you know, strength in reverse. He's very weak right now. I'm, you know, he's feeling he's feeling overwhelmed uh, right now. Not feeling his strongest. I'm sure it's incredibly stressful to try and repair your image. Uh, let's get uh, King of Cups in reverse. Oh, there we go. Lovers. Lovers came out. They were lovers. This one caught up in my hand. And then we have here the king, the king of wands upright. You know, he was sort of the ruler in the, and the, when they were together, he was the one that was sort of, he was in control. So more than likely they had a battle of the wills kind of situation because she being who she probably likely is, who I think she is, uh, didn't, it didn't sit well in the relationship, but at one time it did. Uh, and so I'm going to calculate that 13 comes to 19 total. 19 is four of spades coffin. So it comes to four of swords and it came to an end. Four of swords also can represent a, a coffin because the four swords on each end represents, represents that sort of looking like a bed uh, with tall posts. And uh, it's also about, you know, rest, recovery, healing tormented and feeling defeated. So he tried to be in control within the relationship and he felt defeated and beat down by her. Yeah, and, and this is what most men do. They do want to rule, rule their home, uh, but it's in a positive way. It's not negative, it's not in reverse. If it was in reverse, that's very low vibe. That's the abusive, he's not abusive. He was never abusive with her, uh, but he's in, a, he's in a weakened state of mind right now and he's hoping to release this and overcome the situation. Uh, he's loved, he's, he's diligent, he's pragmatic, he's, he's, he's honorable, and uh, she turned his world upside down. That's what this is looking like. Let's get the King of, King of Wands energy. Let's get the King of Wands energy. Let's get some more on the King of Wands, King of Wands. Ah, she just wanted to get his money, Queen of Pentacles. She wanted part of his money. She wanted to be comfort. She wanted individualism. Uh, she wanted to be, hey, I can take care of myself. Don't tell me, you know, I'm not going to listen to anything you tell me. Uh, I am I am a woman of my own self-reliance. And um, so, yeah, it didn't sit well. It, they were not a good union to begin with because she just wanted to be her independence. She, it's looking like she could have definitely benefited from his resources. Let's get the Queen of Pentacles. Let's clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Let's clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Well, that's came out. 
And we have here the Page of Pentacles in reverse. She is Page of Pentacles in reverse ish, very low vibe. Uh, this individual is, is someone who is a troublemaker and um, she does not improve in life. Um, this is not an advancement. This is someone who's going low vibe and declining. Uh, she's not getting long-term rewards. Uh, there's no promotions for her. She doesn't look good and uh, she's not reliable. She's just not a reliable person. She's not a steady individual. She, she's not pragmatic and methodical uh, like he is with the Knight of, Knight of Pentacles. So she is very immature, uh, low vibe, arrested development, really arrested development. So that leads to tell me that she has a cluster B mental illness disorder because many of those do have arrested development as a defense mechanism. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna, I feel very confident in saying that. I'm gonna calculate that. That is just 13. 13 comes to four of hearts home. She was wishing and she never had enough. She was just, nothing was ever good enough. Uh, and so she would become a troublemaker. So yeah, that is that. Now let's find out how she's doing. So he's doing fine. He's doing fine. How is Amber Heard doing? How is Amber Heard doing in court? How's it looking for her? How's it looking for her? How's it looking for her? Amber Heard. How's it looking for her? How's it looking for her? She doesn't want the judgment, judgment upright. And so it's not looking good for her. She is not in the positive position. She's not in the winning position. She's in the loser position. Uh, she's afraid of the consequences. She does not want the consequences. Uh, this is a retribution card. This is you reap what you sow card. So she, she's not going to get him. Uh, it look It's looking like Johnny's going to win because she really thought that she can get him within her mindset, uh, within her cluster B mindset, that she was, she was going to make him reap what he sowed. But there was nothing to reap. Absolutely nothing to reap. Uh, it is a, a card of major decisions, and it's a cause and effect card, and it's not going in her, in her favor. So Johnny's going to win this thing over her and get his image back. And she's going to come to a Ten of Swords rock bottom. So with the Ten of Swords rock bottom, she's being told, no. No, you're the loser. Uh, this is no recover. She, she's, she's not going to recover uh, because it's not in reverse. And it's the end of the cycle. It's like an earthquake and it's, it's going to turn into a new beginning. And this situation will be behind her. She's going to have to walk away from it and she's not going to win. Uh, she's, you know, she tried scapegoating. Uh, she, she tried to scapegoat him and, uh, but it's not working. So now she has to take a new start. She will take a new start. And then this position here, it is the moon energy, which is about lies, illusion, fantasy so once again she lied she's living in fear now she made the wrong choice she made a very reckless decision with the seven of cups in reverse this is also uh this is my um well i forgot what it was before mm. i'll think about it I, I had something i had to come say about it but I, it's not popping in my head at this moment the hermit in reverse so she's not going to go inward She's not, she doesn't have the capacity to go inward. She's got a serious mental disorder and she's never going to go inward. She's never going to grow. She's never going to get the wisdom from her faults and grow from her mistakes. She makes reckless decisions and she never grows from them. She never benefits from the mistakes and makes her life better. Never makes herself better. She just lives in fear and she goes straight to the illusion and the lies and the deception of the moon energy. Um, you know, confusion. She likes to create confusion, madness. This is a madness card also. And it's also things coming to light. So things are going to come to light about the things that she's done, which is she, she does not want to face her soul. She doesn't want to face what she's done. She's in the loser position, hands down. I uh, have no qualms about it under the deck. We, she is weak. She, does, she has no inner strength. She's a very weak individual. She loses her temper. 
uh, in the center of the deck. She has no control over herself, her inner self is really what this is about. Controlling yourself from within, she cannot do that. She cannot do that. And then the other side of the center of the deck, I have here 10 of cups in reverse. And that is a broken family, just completely emotionally broke. Um, so, and she is emotionally broke. So yeah, she's got a, she's got a, a serious mental illness. And Johnny's gonna come out on top here. He's gonna get, he's going to beat her in court is how I see it. I hope you guys like this. Until next time, like and subscribe. Bye, you guys.